Ripple's CTO has once again denied that Ripple invented XRP. In addition, an American banker has appreciated Ripple's work in terms of the central bank. Growth of digital currencies. Finally, could this latest development portend the conclusion of the Ripple lawsuit? Continue reading to the end to find out more. Hello everyone, and welcome to our channel, where we discuss the latest XRP news and the cryptocurrency industry in general. If this is your first time viewing one of our videos, we will gladly extend a warm welcome to you. We encourage you to enable notifications so you never miss any video. We are pleased to announce that this channel is hosting a 200 XRP giveaway. To have a chance, all you have to do to participate is subscribe to the channel and like this video. Just use the hashtag XRP in your comment, and the winner will be notified on June 15th. Ripple has publicly confirmed its sponsorship of Money 2020 Europe, one of the world's most prestigious financial conferences. This week, the company confirmed the news on its official Twitter account. Notably, Ripple's official announcement comes on the heels of a recent claim that Ripple is planning to provide financial support for the program, as verified by a top-level executive. Today is the event's final day, with over 8,000 guests including industry leaders, startups, and investors. With Ripple serving as an event sponsor, attendees can look forward to interacting with the company's delegates at booth of 150. Ripple will demonstrate its cutting-edge solutions, demonstrating how blockchain technology is transforming the banking industry. Ripple has continued to support several initiatives aimed at increasing blockchain usage. According to March reports, the company supported CM University's Blockchain Summit. Furthermore, Ripple's University Blockchain Research Initiative has supported over 1,000 research projects across 45-plus universities. The sponsoring of Money 2020 Europe is merely the most recent initiative. The event offers a stimulating experience for all participants, with a wide agenda spanning banking, payments, cryptocurrency, and insurance. Please remember to subscribe to our channel and press the notification bell to be among the first to learn about the latest XRP developments. David Schwartz, Ripple's CTO, had a heated dispute with Scam Detective, an anonymous on-chain investigator, about the development of XRP. Ripple's CTO, David Schwartz, recently participated in a heated discussion about the construction of XRP using Scam Detective, an anonymous on-chain investigator. Schwartz sought to debunk rumors that Ripple invented XRP. In a recent tweet, DS, the founder of the XRPL-based NFT community, XSPECTAR, stated that SEC failed to recognize that XRP was established before its founders founded the company. Ripple. In response, Scam Detective claimed that Ripple generated XRP in December 2012 by altering the code to reset the XRP ledger. He implied that the code reset created XRP as a new currency. Schwartz refuted this claim, claiming that the logic behind the argument was illogical. He drew a link with Bitcoin Cash, emphasizing that the currency was already in circulation. It was constructed without any direct involvement from the creators. In response to Schwartz, Scam Detective questioned whether XRP was launched without the assistance of Ripple. Schwartz responded by raising concerns about changes in system regulations and operations. Using Ethereum's move to proof-of-stake as an example, he questioned whether such changes would result in new versions of current assets. The Ripple CTO stressed that the facts surrounding the birth of XRP were undisputed. He noted that while modifications in ledger rules and accounting systems occurred after he was appointed, the prior regulations and systems vanished with the establishment of XRP. Schwartz went on to compare the Bitcoin fork, emphasizing that regardless of which side survived, it would not be deemed the birth of Bitcoin or the creation of a new currency. Schwartz's argument emphasizes the existence of XRP before Ripple. This corresponds to the asset's history. The XRPL was launched in June 2012, and its native token is XRP. Three months later, Chris Larson joined Schwartz, Brito, and McCaleb, resulting in the formation of NewCoin, which was later renamed OpenCoin and then Ripple Labs. 
The XRPO's founders then donated 80% of the XRP supply to the company, which was accepted. Ripple's attempts to build avenues for dozens of digital currencies to collaborate have been highlighted by American bankers. Escrow was opened. Furthermore, Ripple's attempts to provide ways for dozens of digital currencies to function together have been highlighted by American Banker, a Manhattan-based trade newspaper covering the financial services industry. According to a story published yesterday by American Banker, Ripple has unveiled its CBDC platform to accomplish this purpose. Governments, financial organizations, and central banks can issue their national stablecoins and digital currencies using Ripple's CBDC platform. According to an American banker, Ripple is focusing on establishing CBDCs for various financial institutions around the world, having effectively reduced the hurdles associated with cross-border payments utilizing blockchain technology. Meanwhile, Ripple's recently released CBDC platform intends to make numerous digital currencies interoperable. According to American Banker, Ripple's CBDC platform is intended to address digital currency use cases for banks and other users. The product has significant issuer functions for minting and distributing currencies, redeeming and destroying coins, and so on. According to Joe Valono, Ripple's head of business development for CBDC, the Silicon Valley-based company. As it covers the use cases for wholesale and retail CBDCs, a blockchain corporation would prioritize interoperability. It is worth noting that wholesale CBDCs are intended for banks that move large sums of money across borders. RippleNet, according to Volono, has evolved into a platform for cross-border payments. Providing crypto-native services, such as fast settlement, lines of credit, and liquidity, this is the foundation upon which the CBDC platform is built. Ripple has been a game changer in the global payment business. Ripple's payment solution for cross-border settlements has been implemented by leading financial institutions such as Tranglo, MoneyWatch, Centbee, NAM, Company, and others. Furthermore, Ripple has collaborated with various central banks on CBDC pilot programs. They include Montenegro's central bank, the Republic of Palau, and the Kingdom of Putin. Is the Ripple lawsuit now over as well as others? Now for the main question, is the Ripple lawsuit over? Please remember to subscribe to our channel and press the notification bell to be among the first to learn about the latest XRP developments. Experts in the cryptocurrency community have been debating recent business events, particularly the SEC's move to sue the world's two largest cryptocurrency exchanges, Binance and Coinbase. The action has prompted discussion among cryptocurrency fans. Top cryptocurrency specialists claim in a series of tweets that the regulator's crackdown is tied to the commission's investigation against California-based software startup Ripple. He warned that the SEC's failure in the Ripple case could result in a precedent-setting verdict against the commission. The litigation against Binance and Coinbase, according to Mobarak, is the SEC's approach to speeding its major effort to isolate its likely loss against Ripple. As a result, the SEC might claim that its loss against Ripple was limited to the facts surrounding the XRP case and not applicable to the broader sector. Interestingly, popular cryptocurrency journalist Zach Rector suggested that the SEC is close to reaching an agreement with Ripple. Rector did not provide any other information on the proposed settlement. His remark, however, comes just an hour after the SEC officially sued Coinbase. Furthermore, another crypto supporter using the alias BABA stated that the SEC's current exchange crackdown signals that the Ripple case has been settled. The crypto enthusiast pointed out that the SEC would not have pursued its lawsuit against Binance and Coinbase if their dispute with Ripple had not been settled. Ashley Prosper, an XRP community member, stated in response to the current developments that the SEC's decision to pursue Binance and Coinbase does not imply that Ripple lost at summary judgment. He emphasized that regardless of what transpired in the Ripple action, the regulator would have still sued the exchanges. Furthermore, Prosper stated that if Judge Annalisa Torres had previously issued a summary judgment finding in favor of the SEC, the commission would have referenced a portion of the judgment 
and that the SEC now needs to move quickly to give Gary Gensler a clear win before 2024. It's worth noting that Judge Torres has yet to rule on the Ripple lawsuit's summary judgment. The decision is expected at any time. However, other XRP supporters predict the parties will likely settle before Judge Torres renders a decision. So, gentlemen, we've reached the end of this video. If you loved it, please make sure to like the video, subscribe, and click the notification bell. This is quite beneficial to my understanding of the YouTube algorithm. Also, by sharing this video with as many people as possible, you can help enlighten others in the same way that you have been enlightened. Guys, let's spread the word everywhere. If you're a true cryptocurrency enthusiast, you won't want to miss any of our material. See you tomorrow to discuss the newest news that affects us all as a community.